everyone and welcome back to the AGF channel. Today I have for you a super fun tutorial showing you how to make this trendy bucket hat and we decided to make it more unique by giving it an organic checkered look. This hat is a little intricate, making it the perfect project for a confident beginner. But have no fear, I think the challenge makes it more fun. So let's get started. Here is what you will need. Five one and a half by 22 inch strips of the following fabrics from our Duality Fusion collection. Lyricist Diary White, Lyricist Diary Black, Mindful Paths White, Mindful Paths Black, Woodblock White, Woodblock Black, Spectacular White, Spectacular Black, Winding Course White, Winding Course Black, a 22 inch square of Domestic Charm Black, a 22 inch square of batting, scissors, a ruler and rotary cutter, pins, fabric clips, a fabric pen, the hat templates which you can find following the link in the description box below. All the fabric requirements will also be listed below, including a PDF version of this hat pattern in flannel. Sew together the strips of three white fabrics and two black fabrics to make five strip sets that look like this one. Do the same for the rest of your strips to make five strip sets that look like this one. Set aside one of each strip set and begin cutting the remaining four sets into one and a half strips until you have 34 of each. Separate each set into two piles. One pile that has 13 of each strip set and one pile that has 21 of each strip set. Sew them together at a quarter inch, alternating the strips to look like a checkerboard. Take the two strip sets that you set aside and sew them together on one long edge. Cut this strip set into nine one and a half inch strips and sew them back together, flipping one after the other to also look like a checkerboard. You should now have one long strip, one shorter strip, and one rectangular strip set. Press the seams open at this point forward to help reduce the bulk. Take your long strip and your Dresden template and begin cutting the shape out, flipping the template each time you cut. I chose to use a ruler and rotary cutter here, but you can also draw a line following the template and use your scissors to cut each shape out. Once you have all your Dresden pieces cut out, sew each together at a quarter inch, making sure to keep the shorter side at the top for all of them. This will turn into the brim of the hat, so we want that curve. Next, grab your shorter strip and your body hat template and cut a piece out of your sewn unit. Do the same with your rectangle piece and your circular hat top template. Lay your 22 inch lining square out right side up. Use your circle template, your hat body template, and your brim piece as a template to cut out a piece of each from your lining. Do the same for your batting as well. Lay your exterior circle on top of your batting circle and sew 1 8 of an inch around. Do the same for your body exterior and batting as well as your brim exterior and batting. Sew the short ends of your brim and body exterior and interior right sides together at a quarter inch. Flip your brim lining right side out and line it up right sides together with your brim exterior. Pin on the outer edge and sew all around at one quarter inch. Turn right side out and give the seam a really good press to keep it flat. I found that while I quilt the brim, 
My fabric moves less if I put some pins in the top raw edges and sew slowly to prevent puckering. I quilted a few straight lines all around the brim to keep it simple and not distract from the checkerboard pattern, but feel free to do as much quilting as you see fit. Next, take your body exterior and your hat exterior and pin them right sides together. I added a piece of lining to the body at this stage to add a little more stability, but that is completely optional. We will be adding the body lining soon. Turn your hat top exterior side out and your brim exterior in. Pin the two raw edges together and sew them together at one quarter inch. Now you can grab your lining body piece and pin it to the seam you just sewed with the lining right side in. You may have to finagle your pieces since the lining is smaller than the rest of the hat. Sew one quarter inch and flip your hat so the lining is out and your exterior is in. Stuff your hat inside and flip the lining body piece up so the wrong side is facing out. Take your lining circle piece and pin it to the body right sides together. Sew all the way around, leaving an opening to turn it right side out. Turn your hat right side out and sew the opening closed. I chose to hand stitch the opening closed to keep everything nice and neat. And your hat is complete. The best part about this hat is that it's also reversible. If you plan to make this hat, let us know in the comments how it went and give this video a big thumbs up. Until next time, happy sewing everyone!